Catherine von Fürstenberg Dussmann might not know how this machine works, but she knows how to do the job. The American, who now heads a staff of 56,000, spent her first five weeks with the company working as a cleaner and helping in the cafeteria. She's much different than her husband, Peter Dussmann, whom many found to be high-handed. That looks really appetizing. Yeah. Once a month, she also checks in with customers and employees of Dussmann's catering services. I think they accept me now, because they've seen that I want to understand them. I've done their job, too. There isn't a great difference between us. I'm curious to know how we can make things better for the staff and the clients. I'm always trying to do better. That also applies to the food, which the Dussmann Group's catering service provides. Write it down. Warbs will do it. <laughs> okay. Catering, cleaning and security services, collectively known as facility management, are Dussmann's biggest money makers. In all, the group has turnover of more than 1.5 billion euros a year company headquarters in Berlin. Two and a half years ago, after her husband's stroke, Catherine von Fürstenberg Dussmann took over as head of the Dussmann Foundation. I didn't have to do it, but I did. I could have sold the company, but I didn't want to. It's my husband's life's work, and my name is on it, too. I thought, we have a management board. I don't have to look after the day-to-day -day running of the company, they do that. I'm the one who sets the course and says, go this way. At the beginning, it was difficult. The 60-year-old had never played a very active role in her husband's business. I never studied business. I studied literature. So the challenge was, how can I convince my employees that I won't drive the company into the ground if I'm at the top? They had to feel their jobs were safe. How could I do that? But I knew that I could. A few stories below is the Dussmann Kulturkaufhaus. It sells books in German, English and other languages, along with CDs and films. Catherine von Fürstenberg Dussmann loves culture and is a fountain of ideas. We should open an international newsstand here. I've discussed it with a woman today. She's still an American at heart. This is my treasure. For me, it's as valuable as all the diamonds on Earth. A piece of the Berlin Wall signed by former U.S. President Ronald Reagan. I'm happy to be an American. I lead the company a bit differently, take a more hands-on approach. I'm a bit more forward-looking, and I deal with the staff differently. Her latest project is also a new division for Dussmann. The firm now provides in-house company childcare services. Here, care is offered until 9 p.m. But it's not all child's play. Catherine von Fürstenberg Dussmann also knows how to get her way. She's hired a new managing director. And as chairwoman of the foundation, she's able to count on her husband's supporters like fellow council member and former German economics minister Wolfgang Clement. They adopted me. They knew I had a lot to learn and they're my mentors. They're always there for me. I can call them day or night. Catherine von Fürstenberg Dussmann has grown into her new role and now feels comfortable in it. She lends a helping hand wherever she can.
but it's doing things like this that she enjoys best.